This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 12 from Module 3, Properties of Inequalities. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students justify the properties of inequalities that are denoted by less than, less than or equal, greater than, and greater than or equal. Let's review the properties of equality before we explore the properties of inequalities. If A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. If A is equal to B, then A minus C will equal B minus C. If A is equal to B, then A divided by C will be equal to B divided by C. And if A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. So the properties of equality say that if two statements are equal to begin with and you perform the same operation with the same number on both sides of the equal sign, they will remain equal. These are the properties of equalities. Today's lesson is about the properties of inequalities. The essential question is, when is an inequality reversed? In example one, let's go through some vocabulary. The word preserves. Preserves the inequality symbol means the inequality symbol stays the same. Reverses the inequality symbol means the inequality swim symbol switches less than with greater than and less than or equal to with greater than or equal to. In station one, we will roll two die, record the numbers under the first and the third columns. Then we'll write the inequality symbol that makes the statement true. We'll repeat this four times to complete four rows in the table. We'll perform the operation indicated at the station, which is either adding or subtracting the number, writing opposites, multiplying or dividing by a number, and then write a new inequality statement. Finally, we'll determine if the inequality symbol is preserved, meaning that it stays the same, or if it's reversed or switched when the operation is performed. So in our station one, the first line we've already done, and the first two numbers on the die are negative three and five. And our statement is that negative 3 is less than negative 5. So let's also review quickly greater than and less than on a number line. On a number line, remember that the numbers that are farther to the left are less and the numbers that are farther to the right are greater. So all of your positive numbers are going to be greater than your negative numbers. 1, 2, and negative 1, and negative 2. So negative 3, which would be over here, and we're comparing that to positive 5, which would be over here. So negative 3 is less than, neg or less than 5. Then it says to add 2. So we are adding 2 to both sides of the inequality. 3 plus 2 or negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. And 5 plus 2 is 7. So the new inequality is negative 1 is less than 7. And the inequality symbol, was it preserved or was it reversed? So it was less than to begin with, and it is less than now. Since it stayed the same, it was preserved. And again, preserved means that it stays the same and reversed means that it is switched. So our next set of numbers are five and two. Then negative three and four and negative two and negative four. So we want to state the inequality. Five is greater than two. Then we're gonna add negative three to both sides of the inequality. So we have five plus negative 3, and we have 2 plus negative 3. 
Now the original inequality was less than, so let's go ahead and add those. And 5 plus negative 3 is 2, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, and 2 is greater than negative 1. So, and I just noticed I did that inequality incorrectly right above it here. So here I'm going to change this one. So it was greater than and it's still greater than, so it is preserved. The inequality is preserved, it did not change when we added negative 3 to both sides. So our next numbers, we have negative 3 and 4, and negative 3 is less than 4. So our original equality is less than, and we have negative 3 and we have 4, and it says to subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality. So subtracting 2. So our new values, we've got negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Now comparing those inequalities, negative 5 is less than. Since our inequality sign is still facing the same direction, it is preserved. In our last set of numbers that we're going to do for this table, negative 2 and negative 4. So let's take a look at the number line. Negative 2 would be here, and then negative 4 would be farther to the left, which means it is less than. So negative 2 is less than negative 4. I stand corrected. <laughs> let's look at that one more time. Negative 2 is right here, and negative 4 is right here. And you're when you're doing these inequalities, remember to read them from left to right. So negative 2 is farther to the right, so it is greater. Negative 2 is farther to the right, so it is greater than. So I'm going to fix that. Negative 2 is greater than negative 4. So I'm going to write my numbers over here. We have negative 2 and negative 4. And here we're going to subtract negative 1 from both sides of the inequality. I'm going to subtract negative 1 and subtract negative 1. And again, the original inequality was greater than. So I'm doing the math here, and negative 2 minus a negative is plus a positive, and that answer is negative 1. And minus a negative is plus a positive, and that's negative 3. Then comparing those numbers, negative 1 compared to negative 3. Negative 1 is closer to 0 and farther to the right, so it is greater than. So our inequality is preserved. So let's examine the results and make a statement what you notice and justify it with evidence. So what we want to look at is what is happening with the inequality symbols. Are they being preserved? Are they being rever reversed? So what we've done is we've added positive numbers and we've added negative numbers and we have subtracted. And when we have done all of those things, when a number is added or subtracted to both numbers being compared, the symbol blank. Therefore, the inequality symbol is blank. So what happened with the symbols? Were they preserved or were they reversed? The symbol was preserved. Therefore, the inequality symbol is consistent. Let's restate that so it makes a little bit more sense here. When we're talking about the symbol, we want to know is it um, staying in the same direction or is it being reversed? The symbol stays the same. Therefore, the inequality symbol is preserved. When a number is added or subtracted to both sides being compared, the symbol stays the same. Therefore, the inequality symbol is preserved. We're going to skip sta station 2, and we're going to go on to station 3. And we're going to repeat the procedure, but notice this time that our operation is going to be either multiplying or dividing. So in our first example, we are comparing the numbers negative 2 and negative 4. 
And let's just make a number line up here again with zero in the middle. Remember that the numbers that are farther to the left are less and the numbers farther to the right are greater. So we start by comparing negative two and negative four. So negative two would be about here, negative four would be about here. So negative two is greater than. So there's your greater than symbol. Then it says to multiply by one half. So we start out with our negative two and we multiply by one half and half of negative two is negative one. And we start out with our negative four and multiply that by half. Half of negative four is negative two. Then we compare negative one and negative two. So let's say negative one is about here, negative two is about here, so negative one is farther to the right, so it is greater. So our symbol was greater than, and it stayed greater than, so it was preserved. For our next set of numbers, we'll use negative three and five. So we notice we have one negative one number and one positive number. All negative numbers are less than positive numbers. So let's go ahead and write these. We've got negative three and we've got five. And the operation is to multiply by two. So we'll multiply both sides by two. And our original inequality was less than. So now let's evaluate. This gives us a negative six. This gives us 10. And all negative numbers are less than positive numbers. So our inequality symbol is preserved. Our next example, the numbers that we'll be using are 6 and negative 2. So we've got one positive and one negative, and all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So our original inequality, 6, is greater than negative 2. And I want to divide both of these by 2. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So um, we have a positive and a negative, and we know that all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. And so our inequality symbol stayed the same, and so it is preserved. In our next example, the numbers that we'll be using are positive 3 and negative 7. And we know that all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers, so 3 is greater than negative 7. And here we're going to be dividing by a fraction, dividing by half. So we've got 3 divided by half and negative 7 divided by half. And we know that when we multiply or when we divide by fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So 3 times the reciprocal would be 3 times 2, and that gives us 6. And then negative 7 times the reciprocal would be negative 7 times 2, which would be negative 14. So we know that all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So when you divide by a fraction, your inequality, when you divide by a positive fraction, your inequality is preserved. It remains true. So what we've done in this station is that we have multiplied by a positive fraction, a positive whole number. We've divided by a positive whole number, and we've divided by a positive fraction. So all of these numbers are positive, and we have multiplied and divided. And then we notice that our symbols all stayed the same. If they were less than, they stayed less than. That's called preserved. So our inequality statement, when a positive number is multiplied or divided to both numbers being compared, the symbol stayed the same. Therefore, the inequality symbol is preserved. At station four, we're going to be multiplying and dividing by negative numbers. In the first example, we start with 3 and negative 2, and we multiply by negative 2. When you do the multiplication, the resulting inequality is negative 6 is less than 4. So while it started out being greater than, when you multiply by a negative number, in order for it to remain true, 
the symbol needed to be reversed. Let's take a look at another problem. The two numbers we'll use are 5 and 2. 5 is greater than 2. So we're going to multiply by a negative number. We start out with 5 and 2. We multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 3. We get negative 15 and negative 6. And negative, six, negative 15 is less than negative 6. So while the inequality started out being greater than, in order for it to remain true, when you multiply by a negative number, you must reverse the symbol. The next set of integers that we'll use are negative numbers. We'll use negative 6 and negative 8. And negative 6 is farther to the right, so it is greater than. And here we're going to divide by a negative number. So we start out with negative 6 is greater than negative 8. We divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2. And that gives us 3 and 4. And 3 is less than 4. So notice that the inequality has reversed. The last set of numbers that we'll use in this station is the integers 8 and 4. And 8 is greater than 4. We're going to divide by negative half. So we start out with 8 is greater than 4. We divide by negative half. And this is different than multiplying by half. When you multiply by half, the answer would be 4. We are dividing by half, so we want to know how many halves are in 8. So we divide by negative half, and we get negative 16. Divide by negative half, and we get negative 8. Negative 16 is farther to the right, sorry, farther to the left, so it is less than. So take a look at our inequality symbol. It was greater, it changed to less. So the inequality symbol has reversed. So what we've learned here is that when you either multiply by a negative number or you divide by a negative number, the inequality symbol is not preserved. It needs to be reversed. When does an inequality change? Reverse. When does it stay the same? Preserve. So the inequality reverses when you multiply or divide by a negative number. The inequality is preserved when you multiply or divide by a positive number or if you add or subtract by any number, positive or negative. In this lesson, you have learned when both sides of an inequality are added or subtracted by a number, the inequality symbol stays the same. The inequality, inequality symbol is said to be preserved. Additionally, when both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a positive number, the inequality stem, symbol stays the same, and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. Finally, when both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a negative number, the inequality sw symbol switched from less than to greater than or from greater than to less than. The inequality symbol is reversed.